Well, Misha, this week, I guess your dream drive is taking us to a true roadside attraction. Yes, and I think this one is really going to take you back. So it started in the 1930s and is the vision of one man and his love for, well, just take a look. Well, I have something really unique for you. We are on our way right now to the greatest miniature village anywhere. Right off I-78, Roadside America in Charlottesville, Berks County will give you a whole new view of America. Ruth Zerbe has worked here for more than 35 years. You gotta go see it. The detail work is magnificent. Lawrence Geringer was inspired by the view from a mountain. He started building miniatures as a boy in the early 1900s. In the 1930s, friends encouraged him to display them, and in 1953, it moved into its very own building. They walk through the doors, and it's just it just hits them. Yeah. Wow, you know? Yep. Right, it's a 7,450 square foot miniature display. John Jordan is a village supervisor. There are more than 300 miniature structures, 10,000 trees, and 4,000 villagers. It literally looks like I'm in an airplane, and that's yep. a real town. If you look at the buildings, the minute details are absolutely amazing. This village is always on the move. There are more than 2,200 feet of railroad track. We have moving water, trains. In the corners of the display, we have caves that you can go down into. With the press of a button, you can animate part of it yourself. What do you like about it? That big house, the trees. I'm looking right here on this stretch of street and I see an ambulance and, and someone is being carried out of their house on a stretcher with police officers around. I come a little bit farther down and I see almost an Edward Scissorhands-esque type of neighborhood where the lawns are perfectly manicured, kids are playing outside. You also see people on motorcycles, people on bikes. I'm looking at all these dogs surrounding a fire hydrant. I wonder what they are doing there. We have kids that come through the first time and they're just, you know, minds blown. We have people that come in saying, oh, I haven't been here in 50 years, yeah. whatever, you know. I came here when I was a kid, now I'm bringing my grandchildren. What I really love too is I don't see the Schuylkill Expressway, which I really like. The team here is dedicated to keeping the trains running, with luck maybe for another 80 years. <laughs> Obviously, no doubt a great place to check out if you're headed out that way. And did you guys, I got to ask this, did you guys used to play with miniatures? No, no. You, what? Like the little Fisher Price? Those little no, Fisher Price I miniatures? Really. I think I was just too clumsy. As I just <laughs> love this thing, though. They were actually <laughs> yeah. filling the potholes. They should no, send no, them our way. I, yeah, I got to say, I didn't see one pothole. Did. Yeah, did you see the little <laughs> pothole repair crew out there? I, but I, I can honestly tell you, I think I saw a little bit of everything out there, just not the potholes. But anything that your mind can probably conjure up, we were, we were the seeing. We, the high we, yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the, of course, and I love how the artist put the tag right around yeah. the hydrant, too. And by the way, one was lifting his leg, which I thought was, you know, okay. kind of funny. That attention to detail.